over the past few years, more and more companies are partially embracing FOSS. Whether it's Microsoft, Google, Facebook, or anyone else, there are countless projects out there in this category. Now, I don't think they're doing this out of the goodness of their heart, but I'll get more into that a bit later. DreamWorks is the latest company to join this trend, where they're planning to release their Moonray renderer, which is their in-house renderer, under an open source license, along with Aris or Aris, I'm not sure how to actually say it, A-R-R-A-S, under the same license. This is a distributed computation framework to make it so they could, you know, realistically render a DreamWorks movie. Because while you can go and render individual models or individual scenes maybe on a single system, when you're trying to render an entire DreamWorks movie, you're not doing that on one computer. So this project, or both of these projects, are going to be licensed under Apache version 2. Now being their in-house renderer, this isn't something they just knocked up for good PR. This has been used for some really serious projects. Things like How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World, Trolls World Tour, The Bad Guys, and the upcoming Puss in Boots The Last Wish. And they're not planning to drop this renderer anytime soon, so this is probably going to be used for future movies as well. I have no idea if from a, you know, viewer standpoint, these are actually good movies. I haven't seen them myself, but from the clips that I've seen, they are visually stunning. Now, they're obviously not releasing their entire animation stack from model to master. So you're not recreating the entire DreamWorks movie with the click of a button. That would be completely ridiculous. But it does make this incredibly powerful tooling available to the average person. It's not locked behind, you know, a $100 or a $1,000 paywall. It's going to be available on a GitHub repo that anybody can go and download. Now, right now... It's not available. You can sign up to get early access and join the mailing list and things like that. But when it is available, anybody can go and get it. And it probably won't be that long until a Blender plugin is available so that anybody can start using this to start making stuff basically at the click of a button. So Moonray going open source was announced with this press release. And there's a couple of things I would like to read in here. This is a quote from Andrew Pierce, the Vice President of Global Technology at DreamWorks. We are thrilled to share with the industry over 10 years of innovation and development on Moonray's vectorized, threaded, parallel, and distributed code base. The appetite for rendering at scale grows each year, and Moonray is set to meet that need. We expect to see the code base grow stronger with community involvement as DreamWorks continues to demonstrate our commitment to open source. And this quote from Bill Ballou, the Chief Technology Officer at DreamWorks, otherwise known as the CTO. Moonray has been a game changer for our productions. We have over a billion hours of use at DreamWorks. As the open source community continues to embrace and enhance it, we'll see significant benefits to the animation and visual effects industry, as well as academia. Now, I could absolutely sit here and say that they've released this under an open source license out of the goodness of their heart. They just want to see more creations being made, more better visual effects being done, let artists spread their wings and be as creative as possible with the best tools available in the industry. And it wouldn't be a complete misunderstanding to say that, because this isn't the first time that DreamWorks has been involved with FOSS. Many a times, they've spoken at the Red Hat Summit, they've partnered with Red Hat, helped to develop Linux, and they've been involved in the FOSS space for many years now. But let's be real, while the developers may share that perspective, and probably a lot of the artists just want really cool things to be made, When we are talking about the people who actually make decisions at a company like DreamWorks, the suit-wearing corporate people, they're probably caring more about an investment into the future. They are straight up telling you this. We hope the open source community embraces and enhances it so that we'll see significant benefits. DreamWorks has realized that being involved in FOSS is generally just good PR. Even if it's a really scuffed project like NVIDIA's Linux drivers, for example, where they didn't open source most of the drivers, they just open sourced the kernel module, that project still gave them a lot of really good PR. And when you have a renderer like this, it's what they use for massive movies. Making this open source 
even though you're going to have the overhead of dealing with public issues and public pull requests, and you need to make sure that people are trying to make good commits to the repo, good commits that are actually going to improve it, even though you have to deal with that, you get a really big benefit. You get a lot of volunteer work from really, really smart open source developers. And there's another subtle but still very likely factor. Bill also mentioned academia. So let's say that you're a really young animator, you're just getting started, and you want to know what tools are actually available. Now, I know from someone who was doing development when I was younger that you like things that are free. So as an animator, you're probably going to want to use things like Blender, for example, and now you have access to Moonray. So you make use of these tools and you really like animation. Then at some point you decide, I actually want to go and study animation. You go to university and do a course in animation. Well, those courses can be based around Moonray because it doesn't make it a barrier to entry for any of the students. And if that happens, then you're going to start seeing a lot of smaller and even potentially large studios adopting this tooling because they know that a lot of people they're trying to hire actually have experience using these tools. And this is also great for DreamWorks because now they also know that there's going to be a lot of people out there who have some experience with their animation stack, even if it's not the entire thing and they're going to have extra plugins for the workflows that they are doing, you still have some experience and this makes it much, much easier to teach you the rest of the things you need to know. And this isn't just true for Moonray. There is a reason why so many companies out there make use of Blender. Yes, Blender is an absolutely incredible tool, but it's also a tool that a lot of the people they are trying to hire have experience with, or moving away from 3D modeling and animation and looking at game development. It's not a surprise that Unity and Unreal are by far the most popular game engines. The reason why they are is yes, they are absolutely incredible tools, but they are also tools that so many people getting started with game development can make use of and gain experience with before they even think about joining a company. Now, I personally would prefer for the tooling to be open source like it is with Moonray so that pretty much anybody can help to improve it. But even if the tooling is just available in a form that is free, like below a certain revenue amount, or it's free for individuals, or free for academia, this makes the barrier to entry pretty much as low as it can possibly be. The only way that could ever be lower is for the tooling to just do all of the work for you. And you know, AI might get there someday, but right now it's still uh, at least a little bit lacking. If you look at some of the mid-journey stuff, for 2D art, maybe not that lacking. Now, my experience in 3D modeling, animation, rendering, and things like that is um, quite limited. I've made a donut in Blender, so I'm by no means an expert on the subject. But if you want to know how Moonray actually functions, there is a write-up about Moonray on the Moonray website. I highly recommend you go and read this. I don't understand most of it, but it seems like a good explanation about how things actually function. But what I do know is that having better tooling available is always a good thing. One funny thing about this website is who they list as adopting this tooling, and they list themselves. Obviously, they've adopted it. It's your tool. But anyway, that's going to be it for me. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are any of you 3D modelers, animators, anything like that? Is this a tool you would actually go and use? Or are you like me and you just think it's really cool that more awesome things are being made open source? Let me know down below. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe to the Pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robinson Plays. That's going to be it for me and I'm out.